Um, hello, uh, hello, gender queer chat. My name is, is Sigblop, also known as Assembly Assembly. And, uh, um, today is, is Wednesday, which means I'm filling in once again. And, uh, this week's topic, chosen by, by Keenan, I believe, is, uh, concerning, um, gender ambiguity, uh, in general, gender queer, gender ambiguous people, and, uh, the prison system, which is a fairly, uh, which is a fairly, uh, <laughs> which is a fairly heavy topic and, and one that I don't think I can rightfully address. I, I have not been in prison. Um, I've been arrested. I haven't been in jail, um, although I've faced the threat of going to jail. But, the, um, but this is largely an experience that I have no experience with. Uh, but um, I would like to talk about it, and, and I, I probably would, uh, I would like to liken it to something that I do have experience with. And uh, that is the, that is the old bathroom situation, um, which uh, we as gender ambiguous people have been um, very, uh, has, uh, we've been pretty verbose about, about, about that issue. Are you in the wrong bathroom? That sort of issue. Um, when I was in, I want to liken to to it because it's a prison because it's a situation that you cannot ex escape. At some point, you're going to have to use the bathroom. Um, you can't hold it indefinitely, and if you're in a public space, well, you're going to end up using the public bathroom, uh, whether you like it or not. Um, and uh, it's it's the same same for prison, quite frankly. If you're going to prison for whatever reason uh, that may be, if you're going to prison, you're going to go to it whether you like it or not, and you're going to enter a space that is that is very gendered, um, and you will, uh, and uh, you you'll be uh, you'll be forced to here to the rules that that implies and uh, I was forced to adhere to the rules the bathrooms imply I was in Cleveland Ohio out of all places um, and uh, um, I was using a bathroom and the security came in and uh, asked me what I was doing there I was using the bathroom and I ended up uh, showing them my ID uh, to prove uh, to them that I had every right to to uh, to go to the bathroom um, despite being the only person in there like what was my presence affecting nothing really at all just let me use the fucking bathroom um, but uh, that situation frustrates me and it's nothing in comparison to being in prison and uh, not being able to escape. The thing is, you, we live in a world where, um, where men do this and women do this and men this and men that and all this all this engendering of everything, um, and uh, at some point we can't escape that. Um, the the only thing that we can do is is make a world where where that that gendering doesn't exist, where where for social progress they have to work around us. Instead of them work, instead of us working around them, which is a small price to pay, quite frankly, um, for for social progress. I got that quote from from Gender Knots, which is a cool, real cool movie. You have to watch it. Step in. Um, I'll say it again. Um, you working around my gender is a small price to pay for social progress. Um, I can't quote it. I don't remember it exactly, but it, it's pretty good. Anyway, um, as the prison system is set up, as these highly gendered places are set up, 
we have to confront them and uh, we have to deal with them. And it's unfortunate that anyone who doesn't fit the mold of gender uh, necessarily um, has to has to go through that. And I'm I'm sorry for those who have been in prison, for those who are in prison, uh, who are like us. My heart goes out to you, and I, I can just I, all I can do is 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 hope that at the end your spirit isn't entirely crushed and you can tell us what it is like in there you can tell us what it really is like and uh, i can only hope that that we can change the situation for people in the future i want to uh, bring up a case that's happening here uh, with this this woman this uh, transgender woman uh, named Krishan McDonald, um, who is being accused of second degree murder and is is uh, <laughs> being held in, in jail right now, um, pre-trial, of course, and, and pre-anything. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I had a word with, with my friend uh, Themisor over this because she's she knows a lot about it. And uh, so I, I made a recording of that for you guys, um, but it's 15 minutes long. So I'm going to have to tack it on as the second part. And, but we discuss um, prison in general in, in the end of this. It, it's real interesting. Ha have a listen. And uh, it, maybe this will summarize or, or, or put closure to my, <laughs> my, my post here because, man, gendered spaces that that you um that you have no choice that you can't avoid um is difficult in every situation it's difficult whether it be the bathroom or uh or a holiday with your family or a fucking prison and it becomes so clear how different your perspective is on their perspective I don't know it's just the best luck to anyone who has to go through that whether it be the bathroom or holiday or prison best luck to anyone who has to go through that because I know it's hard um, I don't know about prison but, but the things that I've experienced I know it's it's hard it, so um, best of luck everyone and uh, take care and uh, watch part two or listen rather it's interesting bye bye <laughs>